I had a radar hit, and I uh, it was swinging. It looked like 30 knots. Uh, there was something there. It looked like a. Uh, it didn't look like a bird. It looked like no kidding, a rock to me. I kid you negative. I have no idea what it was, but uh, basically just heads up. Try to stay away from 17,000. Keep your nugget on so I have no idea what it was. I'm gonna use our radar to see if I can pick this project up again. I picked it up twice. The first time I picked it up, my radar broke lock, so I thought it was just uh, some kind of bad lock or potential chaff. And I'm going to turn back towards the uh, north just a little bit. Fuel pickup trail. Back, I'm going to uh, start to turn back towards the uh, west. I think it was 004 for about 20. I've got it again. It's a 17.7. Three miles off my nose. It's 17.7. Yeah, 17 I'm flying that way now. I'm going to slow down. I'm not going to get below 300 knots, but uh, back towards you. Dude, I can't tell. Some small, very small black object. I had it at 17.7. He just flew right, it just flew right over me. From the object appear stationary? Well, I, I couldn't tell because it was just moving to the spot. I think it's really about 30. You're 80 knots. Yeah, my radar is showing between 30 and 60, so I have no idea what it's actually doing. But it went from 17, the first time I saw it, to 17.7, so it's not falling. I don't think it was a bird. Better watch the photo again. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, hey. What's up? 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 不是飞机来来来小七快快快 
King James Version of the Bible, Zechariah chapter 5. Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof ten cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. This secret weapon was used in the War of Atlantis, Atala. It is a craft known as Atlantis. They obviously have a different body configuration than we do, and the little, of the little grays, that's the most prevalent one. He walked on the moon. Tonight, he says, aliens are among us. Former astronaut Lake Worth resident Edgar Mitchell has raised some eyebrows and ruffled some feathers with his claims. Tonight, News Channel 5's Tim Malloy goes one-on-one -on -one with this true believer. With his beloved terrier in his lap and his comfortable Lake Worth home, he could be a retired insurance salesman. But take a look at Edgar Mitchell's wall, his photo gallery, that picture taken on the moon, February the 6th, 1971. What more can an explorer want than to be where humans have never been and to observe, gather your data, go back and tell the people? Ed Mitchell can captivate you talking about his 9-hour and 17-minute moonwalk. It was a record. But there's something else he'd like you to know. I don't know how many or where or how they're doing it, but uh, they've been observing us and here for quite some time, and we see these craft all the time. Ed Mitchell is a straight talker and a true believer that we are not alone. I believe what I'm saying, and I cite the evidence that I know. He says that the government he served in the military and as an astronaut is perpetuating cover-ups of alien sightings, going all the way back to the legendary 1947 Roswell incident, an alleged alien spacecraft crash where remains were allegedly recovered. The reason for the denial was, uh, number one, we didn't, they didn't know if these were hostile and could we uh, protect ourselves from them. Didn't want the Soviets to know, so they devised to 
to lie about it and cover it up. Mitchell is unbothered by critics who think the guy with the right stuff has taken a wrong turn. He has no doubt there are alien craft observing Earth right now and many more out there looking for us. How many civilizations could there be or do you believe there are out there? Billions. We've got billions of uh, billions and billions of stars in a galaxy and billions and billions of galaxies and it doesn't take uh, but, a, but a few planets around a few stars to have quite a few uh, civilizations. Dr. Mitchell is one of only 12 people who have walked on the moon. He says he has never personally seen an alien but believes the people who say they have. Through the trees without any problem seeing it. Stephen Brown watched it over Sacramento. Hans Mount spotted it over Auburn. Kind of approached from over that direction and <clears throat> came across kind of slow. Did they see the same thing that Kay Pinlack saw in Stockton? Pretty much right above this palm tree here. Multiple objects, he says, captured on his iPhone. I, I've seen like six bright orange colored lights. And they're like in, almost in a diamond or triangle shape. It, it was weird. And so they started just separating. See another one up there on the right, though? And not just Northern California. Somebody posted this video from the Hollywood Hills on YouTube. Multiple glowing objects out there among the New Year's Eve fireworks. And now it's three it's more. There's two of them. No, no, no. It's One, three two, all three, together, right? Four. No, it's four it's now. Four. In Auburn, Hans and his wife, Terry, saw it a few hours earlier than the other sightings. But there was no sound. That's the funny thing. Or, or the lights, you know, yeah, the visual lights. Yeah, no sound, no blinking uh, lights, just <laughs> this big illuminated form. And whatever it was moved up and to the left. Uh, it hovered there for probably about 60 seconds, and then it took off at a high rate of speed out of sight directly away from us and just disappeared. Of course, we're always looking for rational explanations for UFO sightings. This 2008 sighting over the Sacramento Valley turned out to be an airplane with an electronic sign under the wings. A year later, a mysterious flashing light near Placerville turned out to be arcing power lines. There's a light. We're still waiting to find out if there's a rational explanation for what came out. What the fuck is that? Oh my goodness, Maxim. You have to understand how.